Okay, here we are with Phil Allison again from Bell Property, Hunters Hill, Domain's 2017 Rising Star. And if you haven't watched last week's video, I would actually go back and jump on and listen to his journey because one of the things, it's an incredible journey that he's been on for the last few years in real estate to get him where he is today, which has led now for you, Phil, to become a leader. You know, yeah. we're gonna have people and agents out there thinking, okay, this is all good, I've done that, I've got to a level, when do I bring my first PA, my first assistant, my first lead generator, whatever it may be. What was it like for you? Because you had a lot of challenges around that, correct? It's not sort of like some secret sauce, you know, it's like a cookie cutter, you bring this person, it's just like, oh magic, you know, your business runs smoothly. Maybe explain to some of the people some of the challenges that you found when you brought your brother on board and then obviously Sahil, etc. Yep, yep, okay. I've got an interesting story when it comes to team members and hiring and it's definitely not the conventional way of doing things, that's for sure. So I'll share my story and my experiences, but everyone's different. Everyone's at different stages of their life when they're hiring people and have different commitments. So this is just my story. But when I look back at it, I the first person that I hired yes. when I went out on my own, or I say hired, was my brother Chris, my yeah. younger brother. I don't remember when he came on board with you. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I have to say, having a team, and there's, there's a team of four now, including myself, but it's been the best thing I could have possibly done. Yeah. The absolute best thing. Yeah. And it's been the hardest thing as yeah. well. It yeah. absolutely has. Yeah. So bringing a, a team or creating a team around you allows you to leverage your time. Yeah. So you can do a lot more business, help a lot more people. But if you set it up right, that happens. Correct, yeah, absolutely. If you don't set it up right and if you're not giving it the attention or the people the attention that they need to help grow them, yes, then it's not gonna happen for you. Oh, absolutely, and it's almost like what I say is, what do you need to let grow? Sorry, let go, let go so you can grow, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you yeah, know? absolutely. So tell us a so, bit about like, when you first brought your brother on yeah. board and you, you have some challenging times then, right? Yeah, so when we started, Chris came on, we had no listings, we didn't sell anything for the first six months, yeah. um, and we were just out there cold calling and door knocking every day. So having a brother who's sort of a partner, a partner in the business, yep. that came challenges as well, but I guess I had to learn quite quickly to keep myself motivated, but keep him motivated as yeah. well, because you know he wasn't, He'd been in the industry for about a year at that time, was really good at prospecting, yeah. but worked under an agent who always had business. So that's right. one, one part of real estate. That, yeah, yeah, but then yeah. him coming over to a business where we had no listings for six months. And working as a brother, yeah. you know, not all, working under yeah. another senior agent, yeah. All of a sudden, it wasn't just me that I had to worry about, or me that I had to think about, yeah. and my energy, and my commitment, and my motivation, I had to quickly worry about someone else. Yeah. Whereas if I had have had 10 listings on at the time, as a young guy, you're pretty motivated when that happens because there's stuff going on yes. and it's exciting, you know, so maybe I wouldn't have had to have learned that lesson so much so early on. So mm. I'm grateful that that happened. Yeah, yeah. The next person that joined our team was Sahil, who's, yes. in who's with us today, or still, and um, I wasn't hiring at the time. Chris and I had just started to get momentum. We had been together for about nine months and we were doing Hadn't sold anything for six, and then all of a sudden we're getting really great traction. All that hard work compounded over time. Yeah, and uh, I bumped into Sahil's mum at a shopping centre when I was getting contacts, and she's quite persuasive, <laughs> <laughs> like Sahil. And um, next minute I had him for work experience. Yeah. Because he, he couldn't get a job in the industry. I said, fine, I'll, I'll do work experience, so at least he's got something to talk about but, when he goes to interviews. Yes. So Sahil so started with us for a couple of days and just never left. Yes, yes. He had and he has an incredible attitude and incredible work ethic. Yes, he does. So I think my take out from that was, I saw an opportunity in him, mm. in his attitude, and I, and I, I, I couldn't let a guy grab it. So yeah. Chris and I did whatever we could to make sure that Sahil was looked after, yes. that, and then Chris and I were second. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that was the message from that, is that we saw an opportunity and we, we found a way to make that happen. Yeah. And bringing Sahil on uh, brought new challenges, but it brought great growth as well. Yeah. And maybe that's why we wrote such great numbers yeah. the next 12 months yes. after that. Yes, yes. But scary. Yeah, exactly, because you invested and, and the market was sort of going up and down and et cetera. Scary. And it's scary, right? Like going, okay, is this gonna work out? I'm, I'm, and, and as a leader, you're probably thinking, well, I'm not just supporting myself, but I'm supporting my brother, I'm also supporting Sahil, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's not conventional to, to have, there were three of us, all really great lead generators. Yeah. 
sales <laughs> agent, young guy still learning, but no uh, administration or marketing support, like yeah. nothing. It was just three guys <laughs> having a crack. Everyone Plenty out of leads, there. listings yeah, coming in. <laughs> leads everywhere, but 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 so, paperwork all over the place. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you know, you get taught like maybe hire an administration person first, and maybe do this way. And but I'm so grateful that that happened because what that taught me yeah. was wow, I need to get these guys organized. Like I need yeah. to get the business organized because if all these things are coming in, yes. but we're not looking after these people, well, it's not yeah. gonna do good for us. That's right. So all of a sudden I'm putting systems in place to yeah. make it easy for the boys to do what they have to do with yep. the administration duties. Yeah. So now, uh, two years later, if you look into our business, I'd say by far we're the most organized and systematic um, team yeah. that is at this point, point is after it, three years, years right? Yeah, yeah. you're very so, efficient, you're very effective. Absolutely, and that comes from being back there and me yeah. having to go, all right, I've got to make this work. Yeah. You know, we're not letting anyone go to hire anyone else, yeah. but we just need to make it work. Yeah. So that was the team. Yeah. There was three of us, lead generators, hustlers, making it happen. <laughs> yeah. And um, we had awesome and energy. three good hustlers, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah. that, you know, so that taught me lots of lessons. And yeah. then this year, we've, um, we hired our fourth, staff member Catherine and Catherine hey Catherine yeah. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> yeah. Catherine is just oh, it changed everything she's the engine oh, room hey she's changed, the engine room <laughs> changed everything like our business has just skyrocketed from there and we knew we needed someone in that space yeah. we knew it but we had three great guys with great attitudes yep. and, and I've learned that that's the most important thing absolutely you can you can train and you can teach but attitude is just, it's just so important. Oh, yeah. So when Catherine came onto the business, all of a sudden the systems and the structures that we had in place yep. got even better and it allowed me, Chris and Sahil to do what we're best at, yes. which is prospect, list and sell. Catherine coming onto the business with her marketing background has just taken our marketing, our social media, all that to the next level as well. So. Mm -hmm. Part of me wishes that we had a Catherine <laughs> a lot earlier, yeah, yeah. but I don't regret any of it. That's no. just our story. So yeah. I guess my message would be, if you're thinking, well, when do I hire someone or, or when is the right time? I didn't hire, if you look at it, I didn't hire the right people at the right time, time yeah. but I took action. Yes. When there was opportunity, I, I, I pounced on it. And you had and belief. I had belief and, yeah. I, and I made it work. Work, yeah with, yeah. with great people. Of course. With great people. And it wasn't smooth sailing. It was always some up and downs and, and that's just part of the process, right? Absolutely. Because anything worthwhile is going to take time, right? Absolutely. So if you believe that you're going to, if you, if you think you can make it happen and you can see it in your head, then it's the right time. Yeah. And, and I know everyone's in different stages of life with different commitments. So it's easier yeah. for maybe a young guy to say that he doesn't have commitments yeah. than someone older who does but you just got to make it happen and everything's figure outable right like Absolutely. when you put yourself in that space you'll figure it out at some point right like you just learn when you put yourself you've got to figure it out right? absolutely so, that's right yeah sink or swim that's best, it best spot to be in. absolutely best spot put to yourself be in. out there exactly yeah. so your journey's been amazing yeah um leadership seeing you have a team before and now even having someone now social media, like I'm seeing your stuff on social media. So where can people follow you if they want to follow you on Facebook? Where, where do they go to, Phil? Give them the address, come on. Catherine, where do they go to? <laughs> <laughs> He's got no idea. Philip um, dot Allison. Yeah. Philip dot Allison. No. No, he's trying to give his email <laughs> call, address. Call Catherine and she'll tell you. <laughs> look at Phil up Property up Hunters Hill. Hill. Oh, look under yeah. Phil Allison and yeah, you'll, you'll find him somewhere yeah, there and then yeah. Google him, stalk him. There's cool stuff and you'll coming. Get him. There's cool yeah, stuff coming. There's cool stuff For social media, there. you've done that to another level exactly yeah. now. And again, changing the stuff that you're doing, keeping yeah, it edgy, yeah, loving your stuff out there. It's looking really sexy. You've got a good man. We had him on the show not long ago. Our friend Clinton from Sprinkler Media. Clinton he's doing from some Sprinkler Media. Yeah, he's awesome as well. Changed our business. Absolutely. So, but you know, he's, he's, he's part of your part of your team now as well, yeah, right? In, 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 in a certain way. Yeah. So, um, mate, I, I just want to finish off with this. Um, for me, it's, you know, guys like you and all of my clients that I work with uh, are my heroes because, you know, doing what you do every day and seeing the journey from when you started, Phil, you mm -hmm. know, all those years ago um, has been an absolute amazing um, story, okay? And, and, and you're my hero because you, you're in the trenches every day doing it, you know? getting your face punched as you were, door knocking, cold calling and everything else. Doing that work that sucks, it's never easy, but you learned it. You mastered the mundane 
and you knew that anything that was going to be worthwhile in this life, it's going to be a process, right? Yeah. And you were up for it and you were patient around it and you had belief and you had belief that one day this would all turn into something and you had that bigger vision of yourself that you spoke a little bit about earlier, right? Absolutely. Um, so from me to you, man, I just honour what you've done and, and where you've come and to see you get the award of being 2017 Domains Rising Star, man, from me to yours, buddy, it's, uh, you know, high five, brother. I all appreciate right? it. And thank you for your help too, because you were there on the journey with us and you were our coach from when we were, or when I had my first initial job to when yep. we moved to the other company and got started on our own. So, mate, thank you for your help as well. Mate, takes two to tango. Talk to you later, brother. Awesome. <laughs> thank you.